So by default in Adobe Audition, I believe your waveform timeline will look something like this, whereas you cannot see the spectrogram. So in order to see the spectrogram, you'll have to move this line at the bottom and then you can make a split screen where you see the spectrogram as well. That's very comfortable. Also, if you're in multi-track, you cannot see the spectrogram here, but what you can do is just double click on your audio sample and it will move you to the waveform editor where you can again see the spectrogram and any changes you make here will be applied to your multi-track as well. You don't even need to save it. And then we go back to the multi-track and as you can see, it's been deleted.